we'll we'll go and be a little bit more positive here. What is a thing or two that you expect to work for the defense? Or you know, I'll change it up a little bit here because this is kind of how I'm going to take the question. Um, somebody that you're really excited to see hit the field for the first time this season. Yeah, you're thinking along the same lines as me. If because I I don't know what what will really work. Maybe stopping the run because I'm just worried about more of the about the pass in this game. But more than anything. It's about seeing those cornerbacks for the first time because you're returning zero starts. Um, you can make an argument it could be Jacob Parrish. He's going to start because everybody loves him. Up in the, I mean, if you, if you believe the coaches, and, and I do, especially on this front, I mean, Jacob Parrish might have been the best player on the Kansas State roster throughout the training camp. But Will Lee is probably really the most intriguing as well just because, I mean, it's obvious to do this just because of the physical profile, but you're kind of – We'll see if the skill set and all the other things kind of align as well. But it, just when you look at them side by side, he's like a Julius Brent's clone, right? He's huge. He's fast. He's long. Um, you need that on the perimeter. He gives you that. And the fact that he probably – he arrived at spring ball like halfway through and it seemed like it was an uphill climb because of that. I mean, it seems like he's come a long way for him to just kind of grab this starting job going away, much the same way – that we've seen Jacob Parrish do, uh, Desmond Purnell do, uh, trying to think of some other guys that – Brendan Mott, right, as well. And, and he probably doesn't get enough credit for what he did last year and what he can provide Kansas State as well. I really like what he can do. But that corner, yeah, that's probably where I want to see the most because, it, man, just the way they talk about him and what we know about Will Lee being close to Julius Brent, at least from a physical profile, I, I think I want to see that just because – I also tend to think you're going to see some growing pains also. I mean, zero career start, career starts is kind of a thing, especially when the Big yeah. 12 typically, and we'll see if it plays out this way, Big 12 typically has some really, really good wide receivers and teams that really want to throw the ball like 50 times a game. Um, luckily for Kansas State with those new quarterbacks that they're breaking in for the first time, uh, the biggest challenge in that regard is probably Texas, and they won't have to play them until much later in the year. So you get a little bit of a reprieve from the Longhorns that probably can challenge you the most vertically or at least challenge your cornerbacks the most, stress them the most. Um, but I wouldn't sleep on Missouri in that way. They can really do that as well um, if they have a quarterback that can deliver the ball. Yeah, yeah. If they have a quarterback that's not you know three straight drives, throwing it into the hands of Kobe Savage and whoever else is back there. I, I'm with you. Like – I, I don't know if it's going to work. Obviously, it's a big question mark, but, but I am intrigued to, to see what the rotation of guys at corner looks like and what we see out of some of them. Because Jacob Parrish is the guy that I think has probably had you know the most positive buzz by you know grabbing the job and getting it. And then Will Lee is a guy that he profiles to be like the next big important transfer addition to the secondary that Chris Kleiman has made. Every single year that Chris Kleiman's been here, they've brought somebody in that has made an impact in their secondary and sometimes multiple guys, and that may be the case this year. Will Lee could be that guy. And then, I mean, this is just – I'm so fascinated because of the storyline and and how it's all come about. But seeing what Keenan Garber actually looks like at that position with – legitimate reps and you know time to, to develop at that position I find to be really fascinating so when he is on the field I'm going to be interested to see how he is trying to make plays for K-State and not like you know your typical playmaking type plays I just want to see like if there's a simple pass there that he can defend how does he defend it if there's a guy in open space that he is having to try and bring down how does he make a tackle like I'm just really intrigued for all these different reasons for all of these guys that are going to be in position to play on Saturday and for the rest of the season for K-State at that position. 